From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Friday's top stories. The government moving ahead with a major project in Grand Bahama. They signed the contract for the purchase of the airport in Freeport yesterday. Prime Minister Minnis among those in the government signing delegation. In the rebuilding of the Grand Bahama International Airport as a world-class facility. We will develop a modern facility that is designed and built to be resilient and meet the weather conditions that are experienced. The government is paying just a dollar for the airport, but is expected to end up spending millions to repair it. Tourism Minister Diagula there also for that ceremony says he believes this is a great move. Also said that the Grand Lucan Hotel deal is not far from being completed. The government could learn today what it would be able to do about shanty towns in the country. They want to remove them, but that's being challenged by some residents. The Supreme Court is scheduled to hand down a ruling on the matter today. Police continue their investigations into that recent shooting incident in the capital that left six men dead and a mother and child in hospital. They are looking for four men, but they say now they believe there could be more than four persons involved, according to their intelligence. Police officials say the investigation into the incident is ongoing. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Health officials are hoping the end of April will also be the end of the recent increase in the number of coronavirus cases in the country. More than 1,000 cases confirmed for the month, including 40 more confirmed for Wednesday, 35 of them in the capital, cases in Grand Bahama and Andros also, 53 persons in hospital now, three in the ICU. No other deaths have been reported. Former Health Minister Dr. Dwayne Sands among those concerned about the recent increase and he had this warning. This thing can change quickly on a dime. We've seen it all over the world where today you're doing okay and tomorrow we're in trouble. I think people need only look at the reports, the videos, the stories of India. And while I pray to God that it does not happen, the same thing can happen to us. Still no comment from Prime Minister Minnis or Health Minister Wells about the House shutdown ordered by the Speaker this week. But former Speaker Dr. Kendall Major has commented, describing the situation as grossly unfortunate. And he says it's a case where egos have been put before people. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area, mostly sunny, highs in the mid-80s. 84 at Freeport, 86 in the capital, 86 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The sea's 2 to 4 feet. Low tide now, the next high around noon. Clear skies expected tonight, lows from the mid to upper 70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Friday's World News headlines, the coronavirus spread in India continues with record numbers of deaths and confirmed cases. Health officials there estimate they have 3 million active cases, more than 300,000 confirmed cases again yesterday, and more than 3,000 deaths. Meantime, in Brazil, a similar situation. That country has now passed 400,000 deaths officially, second only to the U.S. Some countries in Europe, encouraged by the vaccination rollout there, they're now beginning to loosen some restrictions. Some travel bans are being lifted by countries also. Tribune's gas tracker prices heading into the weekend. Shell 486, SO 488, Rubus $4.93 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Big year for DeAndre Ayton in the NBA. And a big night last night. The Suns beat the Clippers at home and clinched a playoff spot for the first time since 2010. 
Get details and get his reaction in the Tribune Sports. Get the latest on the first round of the NFL Draft. All about quarterbacks. Find out where they went. Find out who the Dolphins took with their two first-round picks. And get the latest Major League Baseball news. All in the Tribune Sports Friday. All of your sports details. You want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all weekend at Tribune242.com.